I'm going to show you how to replace your DFRK 400 cartridge. The tools that you'll need are a Phillips screwdriver, a wrench, and either a flat headed screwdriver or a utility knife with a sharp edge to be able to take off the screw covers. The first thing that we're going to need to do is to remove the screw covers. And so if you aren't able to get your fingernails underneath to pop those off, you can use the, Phillip, the flat headed screwdrivers to get underneath that and to remove those. Do the same thing on the hot side as well. Once you have the screw covers removed, we'll need to remove the screw, loosen the screws to remove those. Once you have that removed, just pull it up. Same thing on the other side. Now we have the knobs removed. Now we're gonna to have to re loosen the nuts that are holding down the cartridge. Take your wrench to loosen those up on both sides. Now we're loosened up. After we have the nuts down, now we'll need to pull up on the cartridge. After we have the cartridge, there's a rubber washer and a spring under the rubber washer that we'll need to remove as well. Same thing on the other side. Now we'll need to put in the new one. So we'll get the spring. The spring will go in first. The larger side goes down first into the hole. We've got a hole on both sides. After we have the spring in there, We'll need to put the rubber washer on top of that. Now take our cartridge. As we put the cartridge in, we want to make sure that the holes line up. So there's a hole on the inside and a hole on the cartridge. So we place those in, make sure that it goes into the grooves. We push down on the cartridge. We'll take the nut and tighten that down. Make sure that we hand tighten it. And after it's hand tightened, take your wrench, and take about a quarter of a turn to make sure those are nice and snug so we don't have any leaks. Same thing with your other cartridge. Make sure that the holes line up. Then we're into the grooves. Take the nut. Tighten that down till we hand tighten it, then wrench, quarter of a turn. Now we'll take our knobs, place those back on, tighten it down. Same thing with the other side. Make sure that we get it lined up. Tighten down the screw. Last thing, replace the screw covers. Put the cold on the cold, snap it in. Hot on the hot, snap it in. And now you have replaced your DFRK 400 cartridge.